Hi, today's podcast is all about acids and bases, and it specifically deals with how to find the pH of a salt as a weak acid. Now, before we look at that, you need to understand how you find acidity, basicity, or neutrality of a salt. And so if I have sodium chloride, iron 2 chloride, or potassium fluoride, if I was to look at the shortcut method of how to find out if I have a strong acid or a strong base with these salts, if you notice on this side over here, I have water, and I've just taken water and put H and OH with it, and I went ahead and looked at HCl, and that's a strong acid. What would NaOH be? A strong base, and so that's a neutral salt. The shortcut methods for this is this is a weak acid and this is a strong base, so this would be a basic salt. Okay, and the not shortcut method right here is how to dissociate, so that's what the shortcut method over here is doing, is dissociating these. I'm going to take iron 2 chloride and put it with water, and what's going to happen? Double replacement says that I have HCl and FeOH, iron hydroxide, right? Okay, actually let me erase that and draw that a little bit better for you here. Sorry, I made my eraser bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and put plus iron hydroxide. And what is that? That's a strong acid and it's a weak base, and so that's going to make this an acidic salt. All right, now that's the shortcut method. Let's go ahead and look at how to do a problem. So this problem wants me to find the pH of a 0.1 molar ammonium chloride solution. That's a salt, isn't it? So right away I'm going to dissociate this salt. And I'm going to say, floating around in a container of water are ammonium ions, chloride ions, and liquid water. That's what's actually in a beaker if I dissolve that in water. Okay? Now, what's going to happen if I put it in water? I have H plus ions also, and they're in OH minus ions. So the H plus ions are going to combine with this, and what's going to happen? Well, that's a strong acid, isn't it? And the OH ions are going to combine with this, and what's going to happen? Well, that's going to make ammonia. So to look at how actually to do this, I'm going to go ahead and t take NH4+, plus, right, and put it with H2O. And you don't know shortcut here, but a shortcut to understand what's going on, whoops, with ammonium chloride, is that wherever you have an ammonium ion on one side of the equation, you're going to have ammonia on the other. Okay? And I've got an arrow going in this direction because what's going to happen is that ammonium chloride, when it dissociates in water, it's actually going to throw a hydrogen from that ammonium ion to water and it's going to make H3O+. Plus. That's what happens. Okay? And this is a liquid. This is aqueous. This is aqueous. And this is aqueous. Now, we don't always write H3O plus as H3O plus. Sometimes the way we write it is you write it just as H plus. Sorry. Okay, so sometimes it's written in H as H plus, but you can write it as either. Okay? So if you like the H3O plus so that you, that makes sense in your brain, then you can go ahead. All right? Now, this is an acid, isn't it? Okay. And we know that because if you have HCl floating around and then NaH4OH, what's true? NH4OH, sorry this is in red, and this is in right here. This is a strong acid and this is a weak base, isn't it? So what's going to happen? You're going to have an acidic salt. So you can see why, because you have H plus floating around in my container. Now, how do I do these problems? Well, that's your dissociation equation that you need to write. And then you need to do ice, because this right here is, a, it's not a, an acid in the first place, is it? It's a salt. So I'm going to go ahead and write ICE. And you can write ICE underneath the water because you're not going to include those, are you? What do you know about this molarity? This is 0.1 molar. And there's none of this and none of this to start with. This goes down. This goes up. This is 0.1 minus x. This is x. And this is x. And if I write my Ka, why am I writing Ka? Because I have an acid, right? I'm going to write H3 
H3O plus, or just H plus if you want to, NH3 and NH4Cl. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug my values in. This is X, this is X, this is 0.1 minus X. Okay, but to solve for X, don't I need a Ka value? Yeah, you do. But guess what? You don't have a Ka value, you have a Kb because ammonia is a base. So what I need to do, let me make this bigger to erase half this stuff up here. I don't know why I didn't get bigger. Come on, there we go. All right. <laughs> it's not cooperating. So there's an equation that I'm going to teach you right now, and that is Ka times Kb equals Kw. Well, you know what Kw is, don't you? 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th. We have a Kb, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth that's given to you, and I need to find Ka. Dividing both sides by 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, you get a value of 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10th, and that's my Ka value. Why do I need that? Oh, because I'm solving for Ka. Why? Because when you dissociated, what I just erased, you had an acid, didn't you? Right? Why? Why do you know that? Because you have H plus right here, don't you? Right? Isn't that true? So what do you know? You know that this is equal to 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10th. You ignore this x because it's small. And then you simply have x squared divided by 0.1 equals 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10th. And if I solve for x, which is my h plus ion, right, my molarity, I get 7.5 times 10 to the minus 6 molarity. And to find pH, right, because that's what I'm finding, you plug that into your pH equals negative log of my hydrogen ion concentration. And when you actually solve that and you get the pH, you get a pH of 5.13. And that's how you do a weak acid problem when you have a salt.